Hello ladies and gentlemen, Joe Barnes here and welcome to Create a Website on Facebook. Okay, over the next few videos what I'm going to be doing is going through with you exactly how to create a website using WordPress and then integrate that with Facebook so that you have a fully functioning website within your Facebook page. Now you may be saying, Joe, what do you actually mean by a website on Facebook? I'm not entirely sure what exactly you mean. And also, why do I need a website on Facebook? If I've actually got a website that's built with WordPress and it's out there on the World Wide Web, why do I need it on my Facebook page as well? And then lastly, you may be saying, I've heard this word iframe banded about a lot lately and I don't know what one is. So what on earth is an iframe? So what I'd like to do now, guys, if it's OK with you, is to nip over to the web and show and nip over to Facebook, in fact, and show you exactly what I mean. OK, so here we are at the Social Networking Academy website. This is a fully functioning website built on WordPress. OK, and we can go through, obviously, to each of the links, which will take us to a different area um, on the actual site itself. OK. Now, if we go over to my page, this is my Facebook page. Here we are on Facebook, as you can see. OK, let me go to my wall and show you. Here we are. We're on my wall. And if I go down here to the SNA site, which is the tab I created, this is going to bring up my website within my Facebook page. So here it is, the Social Networking Academy website. And as you can see, I can it moves around, yeah, and I can go in and I can click into the links just as I did on the main page, and that's going to take me through to the different areas of the site. So it's exactly the same as the website because essentially that's all it is. It is the website on my Facebook page. Now, it doesn't look very nice, does it? Because it's not been optimised for Facebook. Within Facebook, you've only got this very small space to work with. And my site, obviously, is quite wide. So it doesn't look very nice in the Facebook page. And you've got these very ugly sort of scroll bars here um, that allow you to move around the site within Facebook. OK, so what we want to do is make sure that we build you a site that is optimized specifically for Facebook. So it sits within the, the right size so we don't have these scroll bars and, uh, and obviously it just looks much nicer for people visiting your page. OK, so while we're on that, let me jump to the iframe bit. I know that was the third question, but let's come back to why we need the website. Your iframe is essentially this. See where these scroll bars are? If you think of your iframe as exactly what it says, a frame, it's a frame to house your web page within so that it can be seen on the Facebook page. OK, so we create your website and then we basically place it within a frame. OK, and that frame then sits on your Facebook page and allows Facebook to read your web page and it allows the viewers to your page to read the web page. OK, so it's almost like a language, you know, like computer language, like HTML and CSS. And you've heard the terms FBML before, which was the Facebook language. OK, well, that's essentially what an iframe is. It takes the language of your web page and allows Facebook and the viewers to your page to actually see and read your web page. OK, um, now, those of you who have just been through my free uh, iframe template training videos, you will be more familiar with this. So this is a web page rather than a website. This is a single one page web page, um, which we use as landing pages on our Facebook pages. Now, this has actually been built through my free templates, which allow you to be able to build pages on your Facebook page without the need for hosting and what's called an FTP, which is a file transfer thingy, um, and without needing domain names and all of that kind of stuff. OK, so if you'd rather go down that route, then obviously you can do with my free templates. But what this does is this allows you to collect names and email addresses of your potential customers so that you can start to build relationships um, off of Facebook as well as on Facebook. So this brings us to why. Why do I want a web page or a website within my Facebook page? Well, that's because Facebook now has over 600 million active users. And by the word active, they mean people that have actually logged in in the last 30 days. 
Over half of those people are on Facebook on a daily basis. That's a lot of potential customers sitting there, guys, okay, that are on Facebook every single day. So we want to make sure that we've got a really strong Facebook presence. So at the very least, we need this. We need a landing page on our Facebook page in order that we can um, showcase our offer, our services, our products, whatever it is that we want to do, and start to collect the names and email addresses of our potential customers so that we can begin to really engage in relationships with these guys. And we can engage in relationships through our walls on our Facebook pages and also um, we can engage by sending them emails and offers and asking them to go and visit our blogs and all of that kind of stuff, okay? So that's why we want to collect their names and email addresses. But secondly, because there's so much traffic on Facebook, how great is that that we can actually take our entire website that's off of Facebook and put it on Facebook. So everything's kind of all in one place. So when the visitors are coming over and they're chatting on our wall and they're talking to each other and they're talking to us and all the rest of it, we can also send them off to our web page and they don't even have to leave Facebook to do it. Okay? Not only that, if you've been desperately struggling to get your website to the top of Google by using various search engine optimization methods and all that kind of thing, then remember that Facebook.com is the second largest site in the world. In fact, it recently overtook Google for traffic. So there's a bit of a battle going on between who's biggest anymore between Google and Facebook. Okay? So with that kind of URL, facebook.com forward slash your Facebook name, then your website or your page essentially is going to start to move to the top of Google very quickly and your website is within your page. So can you see the power? Um, I believe, my personal opinion, is that Facebook is the number one traffic generating strategy in the world. The number one traffic generating strategy in the world. Okay, so the, the, the tremendous power of having a landing page or a single one page web page on your Facebook page and or your your whole web page on Facebook I think is incredibly important. So let me now go over I hope that's answered your questions I hope you know what an iframe is and that you uh, that you know what I mean by having a web page on Facebook is and also um, why it's important and now let me just run through exactly what we're going to be covering in the course. All right. So first of all, in order to build a web page, we need a domain name. So we're going to have a look at your domain name um, and where you can get your domain name from. OK, and what we need to do to get that domain name ready for your hosting company. Again, in order to build a web page, to get a web page up on the World Wide Web, then we do need a hosting company. So I'm going to show you the hosting company I use and just take you through how you set all that up. OK. Don't be um, concerned, it is not as difficult as it sounds. <laughs> we are then going to install WordPress onto your hosting company. Again, a very, very simple procedure to install WordPress so you have um, a blog, if you like, up live on the web. We're then going to actually build your website um, and we are going to build it with Facebook in mind. OK, and we've got we've got a little tool to make that incredibly easy for you. So you're not going to have to worry about page sizes and all that kind of stuff. We've taken care of all of that for you. All we need to do is show you how to actually create your page. I'm going to create a really nice, simple page that we are then going to integrate with Facebook. And very quickly, you are going to have a web page live on your Facebook page. OK. Okay. Then, last but not least, we're going to run through how you customize your website. So how you add other pages, how you add videos, if you want to add an autoresponder, clickable links, graphics, all of that kind of stuff. And in no time at all, guys, we are going to have you with a live website, WordPress website, all optimized for Facebook, integrated with Facebook and uh, able to be viewed within your Facebook page. So it's exciting, isn't it? It's exciting. So with no, without further ado, let's move on to video one and start talking through your domain name. Um, and I look forward to seeing lots and lots of pages uh, and websites all across Facebook very, very soon. Okay, guys, see you in the next video.